After being pulled out of retirement for my last case, it came as no surprise to hear from another old friend. Lorenzo was having trouble with a series of robberies in which the victims and the suspects were all wealthy nobles. It was an intriguing twist. And so I set off to Rome to face another mystery. Thank you for coming, old friend. This is a very high-profile case. Several of the city's nobles have fallen very ill after being robbed. There are some discarded belongings over there. It might be a good place to begin your investigation. We've managed to put together a sketch of the suspect. If anyone can solve this case, it's you, my friend. Right now, I must focus on keeping peace in the city. This is Rome's most popular jewelry workshop. We've traced the stolen pieces back to here. The letter was from a nobleman named Antonio Cesare, confirming an order before a meeting with his wife. As one of the last people to see the jeweler alive, he seems like a good lead. It looks like I'll have to interrupt their meeting. There's another victim. His clothes suggest he's a noble, but I haven't been able to identify him. Still, I just can't shake the feeling that I've seen this man before. Here, maybe you can make something of this. Sketch of the suspect matches the victim, but how? The man I saw in the alley didn't look like Antonio until... That's it! His hair appeared from nowhere, and it looked just like Antonio's. I've certainly stumbled onto another strange mystery. Please, keep investigating. We must find the real villain. I was on my way to meet my wife when that madman attacked and robbed me. Uh, my, my hair... I, I don't understand what's happened. Please, I, I'm afraid for my wife. You must find her. I'm wearing the necklace you bought me, darling. I simply adore it. See, I started to feel so strange as soon as that man took my brooch. My husband had it made for me by Maximilian the jeweler. There's a letter about it in my bag, but I... I can't see. I'm sick of you following me. Let you ruin my plans. How, how long was I out? Uh, my name is Bruno. Thank you for your help. I have been waiting for the auction at the Pantheon for a long time, Detective. But I recently bought a pair of golden cufflinks. I only wore them for a short while, and now I can hardly get out of bed. Someone did not want me attending that auction.
Please catch the real villain. Again. Just give up! You can't stop me! I'm glad you're all right. Did you see what happened? Detective, we caught our prime suspect. He's being held at the castle of St. Angelo. He was a nobleman after all. Hard to believe, eh? Well, maybe you should go interview him. He refuses to speak to us. Our suspect is at the castle of St. Angelo. I'll alert the guards to let you in. Hello, my name is Valentino. Have you seen my darling Lucretia? I hope she understands that I did not commit these crimes. This is all a terrible mistake. This all started after Lucretia and I became engaged. We were so happy at first, but soon all of my friends and relatives started getting ill. Then I got a note from Lucretia asking me to meet her at the Pantheon. That's where I was arrested. Now I'm in here, and the real villain is still out there. Please, you must catch him. Please, make sure Lucretia is all right. I am so frightened, Detective. Valentino has been arrested, but I am sure he's innocent. I remember Maximilian. He was a very popular juror in the city. He was actually making pieces for my wedding. You should visit his home. It's so strange. The same person can't be in different places at the same time. The villain must change his appearance. I hope you can find proof of Valentino's innocence. Now you'll never find out my plans! After reading Maximilian's diary, I understood why he wanted to burn it. It seems he was in love with Lucretia, but knew a simple jeweler could never win a noblewoman. After her engagement to Valentino, Maximilian was desperate. He started experimenting with alchemy and special gems. It resulted in the death of his assistant and a total disfigurement of his own face. But he refuses to stop until he assumes the appearance of Valentino. In his mind, it's the only way to be with the woman he loves. Detective, I'm Sister Mary. Our infirmary has been unusually busy lately. I think it's connected to the stolen jewels somehow. I'd love to help you more, but we're in a bit of a crisis. We've run out of bandages. Can you help us? Please, help us find bandages.
thank you. Here, I found this with one of our patients. I hope it helps your investigation. Hurry, detective. The villain is close to finishing his plan. We have to catch him to prove Valentino's innocence. Get to the necklace before he can use it. No! This can't be happening! I did everything right! It was you! You did this! Ho, 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 ho.